Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to another session of One Question a Day. Today we will look at some of the important short questions that might be asked in your university final summative exams. Uh, we'll go into one by one. Mantle dentin. Mantle dentin is a part of primary dentin formed prior to the root completion. Okay. Uh, primary dentin can be classified into mantle dentin or circumpulpate dentin. Mantle dentin is the first form dentin just immediately below the DJ. It is an approximation with the DJ. Comparatively, it is less mineralized structure, hence more soft in nature than as compared to your circumpulpal dentin. It is composed of a different type of collagen fibers called as type 3 and their size is Traditionally said to be large. They are also known as von Kraft fibers. A diagrammatic representation to show what is mantle dentin and the bulk formed by the circumpulpal dentin. Predentin is or the just formed dentin, right? Surrounding the pulpal circle between the mantle dentin and the pulp core. So that is a part of the circumpulpal dentin. They are unmineralized structures. Okay. With pre-mineralization, they become dentin. The diameter or the thickness can be about 2 to 6 micrometer depending upon the face. Sclerotic dentin, also known as transparent dentin, is a type of age-related dentin. Right? Occurs in old age or due to noxious stimulus. Usually observed with root dentin. Depending upon the stimulus, the dentinal tubules or dentoblastic process dies off. And in the process, there is formation of collagen fibers and hydroxyapatite crystals filling the dentinal tubules. So, covering the entire dentinal tubules so that the refractive index of the dentin and the tubules becomes same, so leading to formation of a transparent structure called a sclerotic dentin. Hence, it becomes very hard. Decreased permeability. They appear white in transmitter light and black in reflected light. So, that makes our discussion on sclerotic dentin associated with age. Dentinal tubules or the functional units of the dentin. The dentin is made up of numerous dentinal tubules. They contain cytoplasmic extension or process of the odontoblast called as odontoblastic process. Pulp odontoblastic layer as extension called as odontoblastic process. They are traditionally said to be a shaped with a primary curvature and secondary curvature. Secondary curvature is said to be or described to be sinusoidal. They are cervically and apically straight other region. They are S-shaped showing terminal branches. The first convexity is facing towards the apex and starts at 90 degree to pulp. The thickness varies between 3 to 10 micrometers or may extend up to millimeters, 3 to 10 millimeters depending upon the tooth. The buccal surface is more common in males than in females, the thickness increased. The thickness is increased in the buccal surface than the lingual surface, whereas the proximal surface numbers are the same. They are more dense towards the pulp than towards the outer enamel because of the decreased surface area. The pulp side to outer enamel side is in the ratio of 4 is to 1. The diameter near to the pulp is bigger, whereas nearer to the enamel, it is smaller. The ratio of the outer to inner is about 5 is to 1. The space between the dentinal tubule and odontoblastic space is called as periodontoblastic space and filled with a lymph called as dentinal fluid or dental lymph that has higher amount of potassium and lower amount of sodium. It is this exchange that facilitates the movement of the dentinal lymph and facilitates the hypersensitivity reaction or sensitivity of the tooth. So that brings to an end about the discussion on mantle dentin, odontoblastic process, pre-dentin, sclerotic dentin and dentinal tubules. Stay connected with this channel for another episode of One Question a Day. Happy learning till then.